Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 1st, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk a bit about the extreme weather pattern that has persisted over the United States for the summer of 2018 and some predicted changes, some predicted twists that are likely to occur. But before I do, I'd just like to note that, that there's been quite a bit of conversation about this year being the year, this summer being the summer that, that the globe woke up to, to human-caused climate change and the related influences of fossil fuel burning on the present extreme heat waves and extreme weather patterns that we are now seeing. And I just wanna say that, that I hope that that's the case and I hope that this new awareness resolves us as a civilization, as both Americans and as a global civilization to pursue strong climate action in cutting harmful emissions, in transitioning to clean energy and, and doing what is right for, for our societies, ourselves, and our fellow citizens. So looking at this map, what we see at present has been a, a feature, various features that, that, are, that are quite extreme, extreme. Notably in the West, the West is, is still blanketed by, by the pall of massive fires burning throughout California and the US West in association with extreme heat and deepening dryness in this region as high pressure domes and ridge patterns have tended to persist and that these have tended to be facilitated in large part by very warm sea surface temperatures off the US West and North American West Coast. Now, Facing this pattern has been a, a, a deep trough, a deep and persistent trough pattern for the U.S. East, which has brought front after front, storm after storm, and in cases has resulted in, in very extreme flooding rainfall, particularly during the last week, where as much as 10 to 15 inches of rain fell, over, fell from a swath stretching from the Carolinas and into Pennsylvania. Now presently, storm intensity is not quite as extreme in the east as it was last week, but the persistent pattern of, of heavy rainfall and, and storms and, and high atmospheric moisture loading has continued for this region. Now, and we can see this, this persistence of rainfall in the past week's weather map provided by weather.gov, which shows recorded rainfall amounts for, for the eastern half of the U.S. And as you can see here, recorded rainfall over the past seven days has ranged between two and as high as 10 to 15 inches of rain in some locations, particularly centering around North Carolina and the Outer Banks region and just offshore. Now, over the coming days, the East Coast is expected to experience a, a continued persistence of, of severe weather, particularly running up from the Florida Panhandle and the Gulf Coast and into the mountain regions in the Appalachians and the Smokies and running on, on up into Pennsylvania. So, so this is a pattern that we need to keep an eye on, one that may continue to present flooding events and severe individual storms that could produce very high hourly rainfall amounts. One feature that is predicted to change over the coming seven days is this, this high pressure system that has settled in over the west is, is expected to shift east. And I'm gonna go ahead and run the model. This is a GFS model showing the jet stream 
what so what we see here is the the ridge in the west and the trough in the east and I'm just going to go ahead and advance this. And so over the next few days, we'll see this high pressure system tending to build in to the central US. And this is expected to generate some very extreme temperatures running in from Texas on up through the Canadian border. And centering in on, on some of the, the grain basket states, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, and Kansas. Now, now this pattern is, is generating a bit of a twist. We, we're, we're seeing a, a trough attempting to move into the northwest, and this should bring some temporary cooler temperatures to this region. But, but this, this twist in the atmosphere bringing more extreme heat to the east and, and central U.S. is expected to snap back into a trough pattern after about the eight or 10 day period. So, so we'll, we'll tend to see a, a bit of a, of, 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 a, of a loop thrown into the pattern. And, and this is worth mentioning because such shifts could generate an increased potential for se severe weather in the US East as temperatures swing strongly between very warm to, to cooler as, as fronts funnel in. So here we see the, the ridge pattern shifting east again by the fifth. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at some temperature anomaly maps to give you an idea of, of what's expected for North America. So starting for today, we see warmer than normal temperatures to much warmer than normal temperatures ranging in from Northern California all the way up through British Columbia and the Pacific Northwest. And somewhat cooler than normal temperatures running in as part of the, the trough pattern coming in through the east. Now I'm gonna go ahead and advance this model. So over the next few days, we see the heat building eastward and entering into the central US with rather extreme temperatures settling in by Sunday with a potential of, of upper 90s and 100 degree readings running all the way across the Canadian border. Now this is an anomaly map. It shows departures from normal. And as we can see here, departures range from about two degrees Celsius to as high as eight to 10 to as much as 15 degrees Celsius above average around the Southern Hudson Bay region. Now advancing the model further, we find that very warm temperatures bow out into Eastern Canada in association with the ridge pattern shifting east. And then we start to get a confluence as cool air rushes in to try and replace the heat that has built, it up, built up. And warm air again reasserts in the US West as the ridge pattern snaps back. Now this is, has the potential to, to generate some, some rather extreme swings in both temperature and weather. So this is a pattern that's, that's worth keeping note of. And note that at the end of the pattern, extreme heat rebuilds into the West. I'm gonna check the time here. Yeah, we've got about a minute. So also wanna show you the precipitation patterns in association with, with this, 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 these features. And I'm gonna start the model again with today as we see precipitation dominating over the US East. I'm just gonna go ahead and advance this really rapidly so you can see how persistent the precipitation is expected to be across the US as fronts just continue to swing down and moisture flows up from the Gulf of Mexico, which notably is much warmer than normal and in off the Atlantic. So, so given the fact that, that warmer temperatures are supposed to swing east, we, we can expect some, some high heat and high humidity which is likely to, to push heat indexes high as well in between these storm events. So something worth watching. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.